All right, here is a disposable nephometer. This one is configured so that it can be utilized with a, um, this one's configured so that it can be utilized with an endotracheal tube. So you just put that down over the hub and then the tracheal tube. However, I'm gonna rig it up so that we can utilize it with our mouth mouthpieces. And ultimately with nephometers, you know, the vital capacity, these bedside spirometry thing that we're doing, uh, you know, you may do an easy one if you've got someone that's going in for cardiovascular surgery or something of that, that nature, open heart surgery, you may go do an easy one to get uh, preliminary um, lung function before they go in. Uh, also with a NIF and, a vi and the vital capacities that you can do as well with the, with the NIF, uh, you know, you're assessing overall lung function. Some individuals get neuromuscular uh, uh, neuromuscular disorders such as Guillain-Barre syndrome, myasthenia gravis. You can also have uh, Lou Gehrig's or ALS, you know, anything that could potentially have an impact on the ability of the patient to be able to spontaneously breathe. So we do a negative inspiratory uh, force NIF or MIP, maximum inspiratory pressure, to be able to determine how strong they're able to take a breath in. So what I tend to do is over the mouthpiece, have the patient breathe in and out, seal their lips around the mouthpiece, breathe in and out. And then when you're ready, this is like a one-way valve right here. It's spring-loaded. So you push that in when you're ready for them to pull in and take a deep breath. And then this manometer is going to change. You can watch the manometer, but ultimately what will happen, you've got a black arrow and an orange arrow in there. The black arrow will move. As that black arrow moves, it also carries that orange arrow with it. So the orange arrow will stay with what the reading was, and then the black arrow goes back down to zero. So if I'm doing, uh, doing this particular reading to an extent, what I'm going to do is have my patient take a few breaths in. They'll breathe in and out normally. And then when I want them to, I'm going to tell them to take in a nice strong breath as hard as they can do that. And then I can uh, look at the results. So breathe in and out normally. Strong, deep breath in as big as you can. And then you can see that the, uh, well, I put it pretty much all the way, but you can see that it's on the opposite side of that black arrow. So if I were to turn it this way, it'll come down and it stops essentially uh, at at the at the zero mark. So if I let me let me do it here where you can see. So if I uh, breathe in normally and then pull as much as I can, uh, you know I'm I'm able to generate enough inspiratory force to sustain spontaneous ventilation. Green is good. Typically, you want it to be greater than negative uh, 20 to negative 30, which I was when I did that. When you get below negative 20 and they can't generate any more than negative 20, you begin to, you know, maybe they need uh, supplement uh, supplementation with their ventilation, whether it be BiPAP machine or potentially endotracheal intubation and mechanical ventilation at that point. Uh, with with these, you know, part of what you may do is for weaning parameters, extubating from a ventilator, you may have a patient that's got an endotracheal tube. Uh, so just slide this over the hub of your endo endotracheal tube and uh, have them take a big breath in. And when they do, occlude that, and then you can get what their, their nephometer is. And this is a disposable NIF. They've got other uh, nephometers that would have like a long tube on it. It's got an occlusion port. And essentially, you know, same same concept, take a deep breath in, occlude it so that it closes the circuit. And then you can see how much vacuum they're able to apply to the system. Um, so this is, you know, between the easy one, the uh, the other uh, uh, respirometers that we've gone over, the MetaNev and now the NIFometer to do NIF and or MIP, this pretty much satisfies what you'll need for the upcoming uh, evaluation on Thursday.